This is the smell of a real whiskey. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the second Cleveland non-whiskey here in my cask. It's a spirit drink, which is close to a whiskey, but does not match all uh, the legal requirements of whiskey, because it's not two years old. Uh, it's distilled in Indiana. And I don't know which distillery, and it was uh, aged and bottled in Cleveland, Ohio, with a patent pending process called pressure aging. And this is you apply a pressure on the filled cask, uh, and uh, you do not use normal air, but you use pure or air with a high oxygen content. That means the pressure presses the liquid, the raw whiskey, into the staves, in the porous staves of the cask, and the ox oxygen uh, helps to fasten, to speed up uh, the oxidization processes during maturation. And if you want to know more about this process, please have a look at the uh, Cleveland 80 video. There I told a lot of this pressure aging process. How does this whiskey add become darker? Well, either they kept it for a longer time in the cask or they use the pressurization process several times. Presses in, let it go, presses in again, let it go again. And after several times pressing the whiskey into the sponge wall <laughs> of these casks in the porous walls, it will extract more and more of the taste carrying compounds. Well, that's it. And if it's tasting like real whiskey, we will see, see soon. And this is a real cork. Yeah. <clears throat> And this whiskey is, as bourbon, is non-colored, not artificially colored. So you can see they took a lot out of the cask walls in quite a short time. I have not the slightest idea how many months or weeks or days or hours the whiskey uh, uh, were housed in these casks. Probably this one longer than the other, but probably only uh, finished several times with this pressure aging process. Much more intense than the AT. Sweet. Vanilla. Vanilla sweet. So this is the smell of a real whiskey. So <clears throat> pressure aging helps to develop the aroma as in a typical whiskey. It does not have this fruity character as a bourbon has, but looking at the 80, uh, I've seen that the, well, the distillery character was close to non-existent. So it was a very high distilled spirit which was filled in that cask. So what's in this aroma is now from the cask. There's no distillery character left. Sweet and vanilla. In terms of alcohol, this one has 50 percent ABV, 100 proof. It's sweet and it's bitter, bittersweet. And still this coffee, this espresso, uh, but with a, with a spoon or two of sugar in it. This is not artificially colored, it's not artificially flavored, 
it's just pressed in the walls and artificially ox uh, oxidized. And there is a, a fruity component, like, like they, they say cherries might be. It's a fruity, intense aroma. Very few caramel, no toast. The aftertaste is a little longer. There's more which stays on the tongue. Yeah, and have a second sip. Otherwise you learn nothing. <clears throat> yeah, this one you might call or might recognize as, as a whiskey. Um, but I prefer real aging. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to give your comments to these bottles in our whiskey database on whiskey.com.